In this lesson, we are going to continue to look at how scale factor affects surface area and volume. Probably the two most important things that we learned in the previous lesson is that uh, the original surface area times the scale factor squared, and you can look at the activity that we did, is equal to the new surface area. And as far as its effect on volume is that the original volume of something times the, surf times the scale factor cubed is equivalent to the new volume. So we're going to apply that in two questions in this particular lesson. This example says the surface area of a small pop can is approximately 184 centimeters squared. The volume of the same pop can is approximately 216 centimeters cubed. What are, part A, what are the surface area and volume of the pop can after it is enlarged by a scale factor of 2? So when the measurements are enlarged by a scale factor of 2, uh, we know that the new surface area will be the original surface area times the scale factor squared. So in other words, the original surface area is 184 centimeters squared and the scale factor is 2, so it's times 2 squared, which is equivalent to 184 times 4, which is equivalent to 736 centimeters squared. So the new surface area is four times larger because that's a scale factor squared than the original surface area. As far as volume goes, we know that uh, the formula says, or the relationship is, that the original volume, which is 216, centimeters cubed as you can see up here times the scale factor which in this case is 2 cubed is equal to the vo volume so 216 times 8 so the volume is 8 times greater which is 1728 centimeters cubed and always remember to have your units included <clears throat> The next part B just says, what are the surface area and volume of the pop can after it is reduced by a scale factor of one third? What you may want to do is represent one third as a decimal if you'd like to, which is 0 0.333 continued. So what it would be is the original surface area, which once again is 184 times the scale factor, which I'm going to represent as 0 0.3 continued squared. So if I do, uh, 0 0.3333333333 squared and multiply it by 184 I would get the new surface area which is roughly 20.4 so this is roughly 20.4 centimeters squared because it's 184 times 0 0.1 Okay, and finally for this particular question, uh, what is the volume of the pop can after it's reduced by that scale factor? Well, it would be the original volume, which is 216, times the scale factor, 0 0.3, which maybe I will put in red here, 0 0.3 continued, cubed. So if I do uh, 0 0.3333333333 cubed, I get roughly 0 0.0307. Uh, so this is right here, 0 0.037037037. Uh, so if I just multiply the original volume, 216, by that value, I will have the new volume. And that is 8. So the new volume is 8 centimeters cubed. There are two answers. Uh, the next question, we'll just look at one more in this particular lesson. It says this. The National Basketball Association, the NBA, uses a basketball with a diameter of 25 centimeters. So here's the National NBA diameter basketball. The Women's National Basketball Association, the WNBA, uses a basketball with a diameter of 22 centimeters. So it's a smaller ball. Uh, by what percent is the amount of air required to fill the NBA basketball greater than the amount of air required to fill the WNBA basketball. So in other words, uh, what percent greater of a volume is the NBA basketball than the WNBA basketball. So at this particular moment, we do not know the volume of each one, <clears throat> but we know the relative 
diameters, which means we could actually find the scale factor. Because we know if we know the scale factor, we can get the relative volumes. So the scale factor here, if I'm going from the WNBA to the NBA basketball, because we want to know how much greater it is, would your scale factor be 22 over 25? or 25 over 22 because to get your scale factor you can take any corresponding measurements and the corresponding measurements are 22 and 25. Now in this particular case since it's getting bigger the scale factor that would make things bigger is 25 over 22. So your scale factor is 25 over 22. So if I take that I would have uh, the original volume times 25 over 22 cubed equals the new volume. We don't know the volumes, but this will be helpful. If we figure out what 25 over 22, so I'm just going to make that a decimal. Here's 25 divided by 22. And if I cube that, here's what we have. Uh, this is equivalent to 1.467. So, uh, conclusion, because here's the big idea. Even though we don't know the volumes of each of those particular basketballs, what we know is that the new volume, in other words, the NBA ball, is 1.467 times the volume of the original and the original is the WNBA ball so it doesn't actually quite answer the question because the question states what percent greater of a volume so the percent would be 146.7 percent so how much greater is that it's not 146.7 percent greater if we subtract 100 percent we will get the percent greater that it is so it is 46.7% greater volume. And that is how you can determine that particular answer.